Yeah, we're back. When you acquire momentum, when you acquire momentum at one point, that's what I said the other day, you become so, so focused, so uh, guided, so led that even you cannot stop you. you. You do things automatic, change it. Like I said, change is automatic, progress is not. But if you acquire momentum and fucking light that fire, constantly feed it each and every day, nothing can stop you. But it's on you. It's you versus you. It's me versus me. That's how I see it. That's why sometimes when I walk here, there's a lot of people. Or when I walk into a store, there's a lot of people. I act like I'm alone. Like I'm alone. Because everyone has pretty much that vibration. And it's not me against them. It's me against me. So it's me. It's not me against the world. So the world is very revelant in, the, in this journey. You know what's external is very revelant because it's more what's on the inside that has to fucking come out. And yeah. But me, my message is action, action, action. Because that's all it is about. Because what else can you do here in flesh other than taking action, honestly? The only thing you can do is take action, take more action, take more bold action, bolder and bolder action as you go on. At, point eight, at one point, uh, you'll be carry on, you'll be a... I don't know, it's a weird feeling to explain, but it's a, something very powerful. But like I said, it's on another layer of it. Like we like to talk about spirituality, spiritual stuff, and being light beings and all that. You know, we love that shit. Everything that takes us out of our fucking body, we love it. So that's another thing that takes us out of our body. You know, everything that they, that they tell you that takes you out of the now of your fucking body is fucking bullshit. Because you are here and fucking now. I'm here and fucking now, fucking alive, beating. I'm here in flesh, and I'm here to make a change. I know that. So, what else, then? There is. No, th this is the thing we have to realize also, all this nonsense, new age fucking stuff, no, at one point, no? It's just to fill our heads with fucking garbage, with taking us out of the now, and taking us out of our body. You saw the thing of Jim Carrey and Prince Yala go around like crazy. I picked up all the bullshit from A to Z in that video. From A to Z. Prince Ye, I don't know who he is, that guy, but I ask a lot of questions now, but before I was trusting him. You know, you trust these people. You trust these people that go online and have lots of followers and lots of views. 10 million views, Prince Ye on his video. Fucking great, man. Yeah? Go listen. <laughs> That's the thing. People who really speak truth aren't gonna have millions of subscribers, so. aren't gonna have millions of views. People who speak truth aren't gonna have views, aren't gonna have subscribers. Forget about it. They're gonna be censored. They're gonna be censored. Not only censored, but we're too far down living the lie to even see the fucking truth. <laughs> to even see it. We live the lie so profoundly that we're inhabited to, to fucking even see the truth it's so deep no? and the truth the truth about you about me it's you who you really are but that takes courage man to get there it takes massive amount of focus of letting go of all your fucking distraction and nonsense in the world and stuff that keeps you mere fucking mind busy on it all day every day and are you ready to do that that's the question many people uh, I don't know, the, 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 the step to get to there seemed very small for some and very big for others. Like, some are very fast learners, some are slow learners. Yeah, I agree, but there's something to learn anyway. Come on, this... Anyway. Me, I think it's very... Uh... That's it, we're inhabited to see the truth. And the people that speak real truth, the, the real... I don't think I'm alone, no. me, I try to stay really, really uh, on the side of truth and on the, the side of truth for me is on my side and not on anybody else's fucking dream, in my own fucking dream and 
giving you that dream, giving, I'm bringing you what I feel about that dream, about that life, without any thoughts of anybody else, of any guru, of any. So this is what the Truman Show is about. It's about us waking up to who we are, not just Babylonian uh, conspiracies and stuff. Because the biggest, the biggest conspiracy is against us. It's not against. Uh, can point outside of ourselves for long, but we should turn that uh, look inside and uh, look at our life and make a change. The change necessary. To, to be uplifted enough to carry on the truth, to carry the truth, you know, to strap yourself to the truth, like Justin said. And here we go. Take the ride. Strap yourself to the truth and take the ride. Never let go. And once it's strapped to you, anyway, you can't let go. Once you live, once you really accept who you are, because Gavin told me that also yesterday. He said, Daddy, he said, you just accepted who you are. Then. So that's all it is. You just accepted who you are. I'm like, yeah, that's very true. Yeah, I've never seen it that way. You know, it's an acceptance. But we are in avoidance. We avoid who we are. We avoid it because it's going to fucking burn. The truth burns. It doesn't hurt. It fucking burns inside. Fuck. Wake up. I don't know how to say it. I don't know anymore. I'm about to uh, freaking explode in a rant. Le. I see the rent coming up. Le. Woohoo! Because the fire is more uh, burning more each and every day. And I don't know, I just have energy and I want to transfer that energy also, you know, that's the energy. Me, the energy I give out, I give it to the plants, I give it to the rock, I give it to the river, I give it to everything around me. I give energy to everything, all the people I meet and that's what we gotta do, be energetic with life. Meet life with presence and power. Wow, that's a great vibe, better than the dream of hell. Hey, it's a choice in the dream of hell or dream of life. You start fucking dreaming now, or you don't dream never. You fucking sign out now, and you're fucking dead, dead before you die. <laughs> you know, this is the choice we have. And stop avoiding yourself. Stop avoiding looking at your life. Stop avoiding all the stuff that includes a confrontation with yourself. But no, we we avoid this because hey, whoa, the look in the mirror. Yeah, we look ourselves in the mirror, but just to put a, di a disguise or to, to, to look good to look good on the outside you know, to, we want to look good on the outside that's important but to shine what's inside and bring all the beauty that you have inside on the outside will make you even more beautiful will really make you radiate an energy of serenity and kindness and that's what we need to be more kind to have more serenity, more wisdom more, more knowledge about who we are so we don't get trapped in those Babylonian traps. He's out.